Hi, good morning and good evening to everyone. It's been a long time that I have been being posted about the COBOL tutorials. I'm so sorry about this. So today I have come up with a topic called call. So let's go ahead and start. So what is a call and where do we use in a COBOL program and how important is it while working in the real time? So what is a call? Call is an another statement which is used to call a sub program. So call statement must be coded on procedure division with call program ID. So, so let uh, let me tell you an example when and what situation we use a call program. So you have a right you have written a call program which is having of fifteen hundred lines. So it will be a uh, complex to you since it is a uh, since it the COBOL is a procedure uh, based programming language. By seeing the number of lines, it might confuse you. Someone ex programmer has written this program after a couple of months he left the company and uh, you wanted to you are assigned to update that program or to add an extra feature to that program so it will be very difficult to you so in order to overcome these situations we divide these programs into your multiple blocks so so and based on this is based on that need we call that program we call that particular blocks and that particular block is that to be known as a sub program so we are we have a main program and we have a different kinds of sub programs so whenever we need that sub program we call just call that pro sub programs not only the sub program we not only to make the job easy but it it is mainly used for reusable so some ex programmer might uh, might be using the same functionality just he can simply just call that sub programmer so it can it is called it is also called as a reusable program okay so this is how the important it plays but this sub programmer so in order to call the sub programmer we call we call it using a call statement so the main important points we need to make a note here is main program should be terminated with should terminate with stop run yes we know it sub program should terminate with exit program right exit program is to get back control to the original program after a call statement so you have a set of statements you are calling a sub program and it goes to the call it goes to the sub program and it does some operations and it get back to the main program what are the statements we find after the call statement it's go on execute so passing a main program data to sub program and receiving back data from sub program to data to the main program right so main program should be coded with call using some variables these variable must be declared in working storage section with variable length these variables are called as actual parameters so sub program should be coded with procedure division using variables which must be declared in linkage section right so these parameters are called as formal parameters now we have an actual parameters and formal parameters the variables which are declared in working which are declared in main is are called as actual parameter and the variables which are declared in formal uh, i mean in the sub program which is declared in link sections are called as formal parameters so the next important point is number of actual and formal parameter must be same data type and the same length that is for actual and formal must be same so order of actual parameter must be equal to order of formal parameter suppose if you are sending a, if you are using three variables then in the receiving sub program it also use the same three variables so variable names can be same or different it is known it that uh, the variables should have the same name or a different names right so these these are the various important points we need to make sure whenever you use a call statement right okay so example program i have a, uh, this is the main program which is name of x uh, program abc and uh, in working storage i'm declaring some variables a and b then in procedure division i'm calling xyz using ab so the straight away uh, straight away the control goes to the sub program and it search for the linker section in linker section uh, the, uh, the two variables are declared so in the important point is your procedure division using x y so whatever the data whatever the values are passed to this a and b it gets added to 
it gets assigned to the sub program linkage section so the various statements are executed based on the logic or based on the operations we use so after doing this exit program whenever it can encounter the exit program the control backs to move back to the call statement at the end and it might be having some statements it might have some statements other statements one and statements two and go on so it uh, it do some operations over here after the sub program is executed then it goes to the stop run so this is how a call statement works within a main program and a sub program right so we have we, we will be using two different kinds of uh, call using uh, call using by reference and call using by values we can use any of this by default we use call by reference so the actual parameters will be changed when formal parameter are changed right so suppose you are passing some a, a, a equal to 20 and b equal to 30 and uh, after passing it to the linkage section you if you are trying to change the values from a equal to 50 uh, i mean x equal to 50 or pi equal to 60 so the, the it's get reflected into the main program the same values will be 10 and 20 will be replaced with 50 and 60 or 50 and 70 so whatever you use so what is by value actual parameters are not changed when form and form parameters are changed yes 10 20 remains the same in main program and if you are changing the values in the formal parameters and then in the sub program with 50 and 60 so you have two different set of values so that's the reason we call it as by value by default we use by reference that is example call xyv using a b by reference or by value and the sub run right so this is the way we call a sub program and uh, what are the different kinds of uh, types of call we have we have static call and we have dynamic call what is static call if a program is compiled with no dynam uh, compiler option then it is said to be known as a static call during the compilation of the sub program if you are compiling with no dynam then it is known as call, static call what is important of the static call a program gets loaded into a storage area at a compile time right so what is dynamic call when a program is compiled with dynam and no dll the co with compiler option then it is said to be known as a dynamic call what is important of using dynamic the program gets loaded at the runtime so for st uh, for static it the program gets loaded at the compile time whereas for dynamic the program gets at runtime right so so this is the basic importance of a call uh, Thank you for watching this video. I will be coming up with more and more videos with the different topics on COBOL and other mainstream topics. Have a great and wonderful day.